Every year, a small Italian village gathers to remember eight U.S. soldiers killed by Nazis during World War II. This year is the 80th anniversary of the moment German troops murdered the escaped prisoners of war. Chris Livesay met with an American family who visited the small town to see how their loved one is being honored this Memorial Day. The year was 1944. The Allies were chasing the Nazis out of Italy when American forces bombed a German train. It turned out to be carrying hundreds of Allied POWs destined for a concentration camp. Among the survivors, Corporal Paul Valdez of the Army's 45th Infantry Division and seven other Americans. They fled for their lives here to the rugged hills of Monte Buono, 42 miles outside Rome. Nello Lucchetti, now 93 years old, was 12 when one of them knocked on his door. Mama, you did to move them. Mother gave them a loaf of bread because the poor things had nothing to eat. Nothing, he sobs. The Americans eventually took cover behind these abandoned medieval walls, though not for long. This medieval monastery became a literal sanctuary for those eight GIs until the Nazis eventually hunted them down and gunned them down. Villagers say the bullet holes are still visible. What cowards the Nazis were, Nello shudders, recalling the moment he saw the bodies of the slain Americans, those poor boys. Since the massacre, the town has honored those eight GIs every year. This year marks the 80th anniversary a milestone that the family of Paul Valdez could not miss, flying in from California and Colorado, like his grandniece, Elaine Torres. They really have kept their memories alive all of these years, all of the years that we never even knew about Montebuno or the, anything that had happened here. So it's extraordinary that they've really embraced they knew. all of them. They didn't forget. They never forgot. The Valdez family has Paul's German POW tag, letters home, and his prayer book, but for decades, they never knew the full story until, with the help of historians, the town of Monte Buono reached out to Paul's brother, Ruben, in 2019. The town was taking care of him. People cared about him. Other mothers cared about him and, and his fellow soldiers. Ruben, Peggy Valdez's father, died just months after that call but not without finally knowing once and for all about the town that took care of his brother and has honored his memory ever since. Chris Livesay, CBS News, Monte Buono, 